Let's see. What are you can I rid of its positivity? Oh, I think I found an AU. This certain human is quite positive. Time to ruin their life. <laughs> Nightmare enters your AU and finds you talking to the sands of the universe. Nightmare stalks you both in the shadows. Thanks for helping me out, kid. Well, I'll see you later. Take care. The sands walks off and leaves you alone. Nightmare then shows himself. You happily greet him. Nightmare cringes at your positivity. Who are you? Wyan, huh? Well, Wyan, I'm going to make you suffer. What makes you think I won't? I seem like a good person. Listen, I'm not nice. I could kill you right here, right now. What? I'm not joking. Hey, get back here! You walk away from Nightmare into your house. You enter your house and turn on the TV. Your favorite show's on. You were excited. Then you hear banging on your door. You walk over to the door and open it. It was the goopy skeleton. You don't just walk away from someone who's talking to you. Yeah, you better be sorry. Why would I tell you my name? <sighs> Fine, if it'll get you to shut up. My name's a Nightmare. Uh, why would you compliment me? You want to be my friend. You want to be friends with me. Why? Because I seem sad and I need to be happy? Listen, I'm the type of person who likes being negative. Not everyone is happy like you. You sound like my brother. Yeah, I have a brother. He also likes to tell me everyone can be happy if they try and crap like that. <laughs> Good luck with that. You can't make me smile or be happy. A bet? Alright, what do you bet? If you can make me happy or smile a real smile, I have to be your friend. Fine. If I get you to be sad or frown, I win. And I get to make you suffer. It settled them. You're going to lose. If you say so. A week and a half later. You had made Nightmare live with you until someone won the bet. So far, neither of you had been close to winning. You had known also Nightmare had been avoiding you these past three days. And by that, he was staying in the room you had given him. He would only come out to get food, and then he would go back to the room. You decided to check on him. You knock on the door. What do you want? Why have I been staying in the room? That's none of your business. I'm not coming out. <sighs> the door is locked. You can't come in. Wyan, go away. <sighs> You're so persistent. Fine. Nightmare unlocks the door and you walk in. There. You're in. <sighs> I'm fine. I said I'm fine. Fine. You want the truth? Okay then, I'll give you the truth. I just can't stand seeing you. You're just so perfect and I'm not. I just can't stand knowing that you're so perfect and you wouldn't ever, ever. I just... Can you please leave? I need a moment. You leave the room and close the door. You sit down on the couch. You wonder what Nightmare was going to say before he asked you to leave. A few minutes later, Nightmare leaves the room and sits down on the couch next to you. Lion, look, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm apologizing to you. I have something I need to confess. Well, you won the bet. Yeah, you won. How did you make me happy? Well, I... I... I fell in love with you. Wyan? What are you doing? Wyan! You kiss Nightmare. After a bit, you pull away from Nightmare. I... What? I... Nightmare's tentacles disappear, and the goop-like substance starts disappearing from him. D dang it. His goop fully disappears, and he's now somehow in a different outfit. Why did you do that? Because you love me back? Nightmare hugs you, and you hug him back. 
I love you, Ian. Does this mean we're good? Alright, so this was requested by Nicole Walton. I hope you liked it. Full credit to the artist, and just to note, the way Nightmare acts and what happens with his past performance stuff is not canon whatsoever. So, yeah. Anyway, have a good day or night whenever you're seeing this. Stay determined, and I will see you later.